Hello. Welcome hey. yeah. to Pass Me the Popcorn Presents. Um. I'm your host, Ray, and this is my co-host, Jeremy, who's on the texting. I was looking at the uh, the movies. Just keep rolling. And the, and the sports uh, is what we're talking about this evening. I the mean, show. The sh I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go. I, I, the series will be focus on, focusing on sports, <laughs> movies. Welcome to Toy Corner with Ray. Today's episode features the Godzilla toy line, the 60th anniversary from Bandai, ages four and up. Today, the fir for the first item I'd like to feature is the Godzilla 1954 edition. Oh, 1954. Yeah. OG. Oh, You'll notice the, the white coloring on the tail, and the tail articulates. I'm sorry, what? It articulates? Articulates, What yes. does that mean? It means it moves. I want you to say that. And um, the arms and legs articulate as well. You'll notice the detailing on the mouth, where each teeth is individually painted, as well as a red tongue. Godzilla's signature head is able to move. Or articulate. Art yes, articulate. You almost expect fire to come out of his mouth. But it doesn't. It just stands there. Doesn't do anything. Um, the next featured item is the Millennium Godzilla. Oh no, not the Millennium one. Featured in the, the latest 2014 film. Oh yeah, how was that? Did you see it? It was a very good movie, Jeremy. It was mm, kind of interested, but not really. You'll notice the large neck. The controversial large neck. Controversial? Yes, because the Japanese have accused the American version of Godzilla of being fat. Oh, it's so typical of foreign countries say Americans are too fat. Hey, Ray here with a new segment. Uh, basically, I wanted to introduce my friend and co-host Jeremy Shag. Hello. I've known him for over 20 years. We're good yeah. friends. And one of the reasons I picked him to be my co-host is because we share the same sense of humor, uh, sensibility, ideas. And so I thought he would be a perfect fit for Pass Me the Popcorn Presents. I know a lot of you out there are my friends and know me pretty well. I thought I'd use this segment as a chance to, for you to get to know my friend Jeremy here. Jeremy, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I just want to start at the beginning. I know you were born in New Orleans. What? New Orleans? What? When did I tell you I was born in New Orleans? Oh. Never said that. No? <laughs> Wasn't born in New Orleans, nope. Oh, I must be, I must be, uh, I, was thinking, I was thinking of somebody else. Then. I guess, yeah. Um, <laughs> you were born in 1978? Uh, nope. No? No. I mean, it, it's not important when I was born. Really? Well, I mean, I'm an actor. I don't want to, like, say how old oh, I am. Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, I know you mentioned you're an actor. Yep. I know you were also, uh, as you're pursuing your career, you work as um, a veterinarian. At a what? A veterinarian? Or, I mean, a veterinarian's office. No, no, not even close, man. I, well, I work at a hotel restaurant. I'm a server. What? Hi, right, Ray here, back with another mini review segment. Um, today, uh, we're going to review the movie Godzilla, uh, 2014 uh, reimagining of the classic Japanese tale. Uh, I haven't seen that one. Is it good? Did you see it? Yes, I saw it, Jeremy. There's no point reviewing a movie if you haven't seen it. Uh, uh, I guess that's. I guess you have a point there. But, well, I mean, Godzilla's cool. Like, I remember as a kid watching it. Uh, set in Japan? Uh, one of those settings is Japan. Uh, what? There's more than one setting? Yes, there's also San Francisco, Las Vegas. Oh, so he is just destroying everything. Uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> Anyways. Um, 
basically, uh, Godzilla, do I recommend the movie? Yes, uh, with the caveat that maybe don't expect to see the monster with significant screen time. Wait, 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 so the movie Godzilla doesn't have much of Godzilla in it? You'll notice the detailed tail. Unfortunately, this tail does not articulate. So that one doesn't, but that one, I don't know. Kind of a bummer. Hey, let me introduce this one. <clears throat> this is King Caesar. Yes. King Caesar, bitch! Yes, King Godzilla! Why don't you come over here and suck it? Uh, oh, yeah. Come here, Godzilla. I'm the king. Now suck me. Because, oh, wait, but hold on. There's, no, there's nothing there. Yeah, well, like, it is a toy, Jeremy. Oh, uh, yeah. Would you, would you, should, uh, should be uh, yeah. anatomically correct. Yes. It doesn't even have a butthole. Look. Yeah. I mean, Let's hey, no wonder they're monsters, right? They're all like pent up with like piss and shit and cum. I'd go crazy too. I'd fucking want to wreck a city. Uh, but guess what? Guess who comes in to save the day? Batman with a giant head! Oh. Veterinarian? What? 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 When did I ever what? talk to you about that? I thought you. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe. I'm sorry. Probably thinking of someone else. I'm probably thinking of someone else. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. I serve at a restaurant. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then, well, what do you do at the restaurant? Do you serve food? Yeah, that's, yeah. Take their orders, put it in, uh, food comes out. Okay. It's like a restaurant. And you went Like, to, imagine uh, if you're in a restaurant, what a server would do. Okay. That's what I do. Yeah, oh, well, this is a very interesting uh, bit of trivia about Jeremy. Uh, as well as being an actor and uh, working as a waiter, I thought it was something. Uh, you're currently pursuing your master's in behavioral sciences at UC Irvine. Wow, that's flattering, but no, I'm not getting a master's. I don't even have a bachelor's. I dropped out of school. I don't even. Oh. What? Why do you think I'm a server at a restaurant? <laughs> yeah. We're featuring the Godzilla line right now. I know, but huh, Godzilla's kind of it's kind of old and boring. Uh, but check it out. Ooh, here comes here comes Catwoman. Oh, what's up? What's going on, Catwoman? Oh, nothing, Batman. I'm just walking around. Got this big ass monster. Hey, what do you say we get out of here? Yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on. Little pony, come in. Oh, yeah. Here? here comes the ride. Oh, oh, Batman, it's such a beautiful pony. Jeremy. It is. Look at the long, luxurious hair. Oh, it is. It's kind of turning me on. Do me on it. Do me on the pony. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do me on the pony. Oh, 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 oh Jeremy. it's getting out of control. It's getting out of control. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting kinky. A little 69 action. Oh, no. Hey, hey. This ain't your daddy's toy review, huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh. Watch, check it out. Bestiality. Bestiality. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bestiality. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, this has been today's episode of God's a Toy Corner with Ray and Jeremy. I thought you I thought you were going to school to pursue a master's. No, no, no not at all. Oh shit. What the hell? I don't, I'm, what am I thinking about? I'm probably thinking, thinking of, of another Jeremy or something. I don't know. Look, we have plenty of interests. Okay, all right. I mean, me, okay. come on, we hang out. All right, I know this for sure. You recently came out as homosexual. What the you fuck? Have a life Dude, partner. don't even joke about that shit. Because I'm married to an actual beautiful oh, woman. Oh shit, that's right, that's right. Yes, you were at the wedding, remember? I was remember? at the wedding. I was at the wedding. say something like that. They're uh, like, oh, he's married. Yeah, he's married, but uh, really, he's homosexual. Now people are actually going to think that. Thanks, no, Ray. No, no. <sighs> Man. <laughs> you're not, you're what the not, hell? You're not homosexual. I'm not a homosexual. I know you're a diehard Celtics fan. What the? You're... No, I'm not a fucking Celtics fan. Fucking Laker yeah. fan. Oh, that's right. That's right. Fuck the Celtics. Why? That is just bad. It's like fighting words right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your wife. Your wife is a Celtics fan. That's what? right. He knows my wife better than uh, me. <laughs> that's fucking great. Like, why would you even want to see a movie? Named for the creature. They don't even really show it in the poster. They just show his stupid ass tail. What? I 
think the, the idea was to slowly build tension throughout the movie, sort of like with Steven Spielberg. Slowly is the key word, yeah. Us. But any actors in this? You can't really talk about it because you haven't seen it yet. I can already tell you this sucks. Like, who wants to see a movie about Godzilla and you don't even really see him until... So how late? How late in the movie is it? Power and 30 minutes. Holy shit! What the fuck is the point of making this movie? Dude, fuck Godzilla. I want to see King Kong. How about that? So I recommend Godzilla. Jeremy doesn't, even though he hasn't seen the movie. Don't need to. Uh, and uh, you both have a favorite baseball team? And you live in San Diego, so it is the Padres, right? No, not a fan of any of the San Diego teams. It's much worse. I'm a fan of the Angels. Oh, that's right. That's yes. Right. Okay. Um, Ooh, 2002! Yay! <laughs> okay, I know. We met, we met at Chapman University. Oh, no. Dude, El Camino. Oh. That's right. I get confused. Yeah, uh, I guess, yeah. I don't really like the segment anymore. Oh, the segment kind of sucks now. It does kind of suck. Kind of ends a friendship, basically. Oh, no.